What's up guys? Welcome to East West Beats. Again, I have another quick tutorial on how to make the DJ Snake sound in Logic Pro X using only the plugins that come with Logic. So let's listen to this and then quickly we're going to go track by track and I'm going to refer you to some videos as well so you can go ahead and make the sound and also I'm going to include a link to download this in the box below. So let's check out the sound first. As you can see, it's pretty simple. One of the first thing that you see is the plug sound that's being triggered by Core Trigger. Again, we're using ESP. You guys can download this and use this particular preset. We added a delay and a space designer for reverb to make the plug sound much more lushier and bigger than they are. And then uh, for the chord trigger, it's it's triggering four chords from here. Again, you can um, go to the link that's below right here to see how to program the chords that are in here. So you don't have to play the chords and you can just hit one key and play the chord. Next, what we have is a sub bass that's coming in from Alchemy. Um, so let's listen to the, the bass. Again, pretty simple bass. And then what we have here is a drum kit. Again, I added a drum designer, uh, completely cleared it out. And then I added the following things. This is the top kick. This is your main kick. Some of the other elements that I loaded up, some of them I didn't use that because I wanted to keep the tutorial pretty simple, is a snap sound. I have a shaker here, a clap, and a hi-hat that you hear that's arranged exactly like this. Again, it's a very, very simple drum beat. What's making it swing is actually the off pattern plucks that you hear here. Well, hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you did, please share it with somebody who is new to production, who can use these tips to make their sound again, to get the vocal chop sound um, or the dolphin sound that 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 it's being known as. Uh, again, there's a link right here that you can go ahead and download that. And also for the chord trigger, click right here and you'll be able to get the chord trigger um, a plugin and preset on how to actually set it up so you can work much faster. Again, guys, thank you for checking in, tuning into my channel. If you find the content useful, please hit a like and subscribe and also share it with somebody who's going to use it. And also, please don't forget to leave a comment of anything else that you'd like to see and also download this file so you can go and make your own music. See you guys at the next one.